Broadcasting live from the Treehouse in Phoenix, Arizona. It's Beer Googles. Double E. Double O. Double G. With Chris Woodsy Peralta and Mark Poles. From the home office in Gilbert, Arizona. Hello. Hi. Hi. When I think about you, I touch myself. Uh, no, I don't. No. Uh, what? How did that happen? That's one of my Who favorite. Who put that here? There's a there's an Eve Six cover of that. Do you oh. remember that song, Eve Six? It goes, I'll swallow my pride, I'll check on the rhymes, but the like they're all empty inside. Yeah, does, that song? did anyone in the 90s breathe through their fucking nose? No. Because they all Billy sound Joe. really yeah. the same. They're, they all, they're all congested. I love myself. <laughs> I want you to love me. When I feel down, I want puffs next to me so I could blow my stuffed nose. Ah. They all sound the same. They do. Candle Wake box. me up when allergy season <laughs> ends. I like that we can see you now play air guitar on the video. I know. That was my Billy Joe. <laughs> Welcome, everybody. Peace out. Oh, that's been a great beer Google, yeah, everybody. Cool. Let's close it out. Hits. All right. All right. Let's do it. <laughs> so, uh, how, how goes, man? Just super. So, we're trying to alternate and do like a light. Wednesday, Wednesday. Wednesday, Wednesday. Wednesday, February 7th. Home. February 1 7. 1 7. That's like one day after the 1 6. Whoa. And we all know what that day is. Uh, no, I, I don't. One day after the 1 5. Oh, President's Day. Hmm. Which is one day after the 1 4. De los, de los Presidentes. Our Brolentine's Day. How about this Brolentine's? Shall we, shall we break it down? What happened? Because we were so excited about it. Sure. And then we went. We went to uh, our bro date sushi place. Yeah. I'm like, fuck yeah. $4 spicy tuna roll, $4 spicy yellowtail roll. This is going to be great. I'm going to get two of the, I'm going to get one of each of those, get a little spring roll action, a couple bucks. I'm good to go. I'm out of there 10 bucks. Uh huh. And then we went. And then what happened? <laughs> well, and then, and then. We, we pull up. You drove. Thank and you then, for driving. And then. and then. No, and then. No, and then. Um, we drove up and you look up and you go, oh, they got this all you can eat thing. And I go, yeah, that, that's an option. Sure. I think you can do that if you want. So then we sit down and they can us the pieces of paper, with little pencils and the usual sushi menu. Yeah. Just like you would anything. It did read all you can eat at the top. Now that in hindsight, shut the front door, but I, it didn't, I didn't understand. It didn't make sense. Cause they didn't give us the other slot. I don't know. They didn't give us there, multiple. And now slip that I options. think about it, there were no prices on that, on the yes. sushi list. Yes. Correct. And I thought that's what was on the menu that they hand us with the pictures. So I thought you just still just order it. And it didn't have prices on the on the menu, on the pencil pictures? thing. Oh, yeah. But the pictures quarter later or whatever. Anyway, so we fill it out. First thing I'm like, oh, sweet. They give us oh, our food. You got. Please share. I got, got. Uh, some a new one called the Manhattan Roll. Uh, uh, it was fucking good. Blew though. your mind. Yeah, and then I got the Rainbow Roll, which the salmon was fantastic. And then I got uh, vegetable tempuras. Very well done. Uh, but fuck fungus. And then I got to some salmon. And there was no kale involved. And there was fuck no, kale. No kale was, was no harmed kale. during the making of this tempura. And I got a hand roll, a California burrito bowl. No. Uh, and, That's uh, right. You got an ice cream cone. Yeah. You got a kelp cone. Oh, with seaweed on the outside. Yeah. And then uh, some salmon and some tuna. Yeah, you crushed it. And I was like, okay, cool. I'm happy. Here's I'm ready for my bill. And then, dun, 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 we both ordered what? What did we both order, sir? What we happened? both got billed for t- for all-you-can-eat sushi. And big man checkmark ordered like $8 of sushi. And then he orders spring roll. <laughs> and and it, was in this, it was in this big red basket with a piece of, like, paper. parchment Wax paper. Parchment, yeah. And this one teeny tiny little fucking spring roll. One. It was like, what the shit? Yeah. It was like a cigarette, dude. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's like a cigarette butt. <laughs> yeah, it was like the littlest spring roll. I was like, it's so cute. It was really odd. The food was great, but it was good. Now that we know, oh, okay, it's twenty two bucks a yeah. piece. Next time for I'm all calling, you can eat. Next time I'm calling the fuck in. Uh, well, you're gonna get all you can eat, and I'll just get a roll or two. Okay. You definitely got your rolls worth today. Oh, mm. today's is brought to you by the buck by Starbucks. Thank uh, you. Start well. I started watching Battlestar Galactic again, so Wonderful. this is perfect. This is perfect. By the way, I I think your uh, reassessment of that show. We'll have to talk about that off the air. Why? But we are off. we are today's Googles. We're having fun. It's a Wednesday. It's February seventeenth of twenty twenty one. 
And ugh, do you need that in there too? Okay, you're good. Um, Chris is taking pictures, so we're getting all pretty. Chris is making a really pretty coffee cup mug. Picture. Thingy. Thingy. All right, you ready to rock? You ready to yes, rock this bitch? I am ready to rock this bitch. What are we talking Today's about? Today's beer Google subject, sir. Mm. I'm pulling it up. I'm pulling it up. Stand by. Oh. Would you accept one million U.S. dollars to leave the United States of America, but you could never return? Why? Where would you live? Oh yeah. And go. And go. Um, I wanted to ask if we could get one million U.S. or one million local, whichever is greater. Okay. I'll because prove the that. euro. Has an exchange rate issue. Right. Of like, what is it, 1.2 or something? I don't know. It's like 1.2 or something. So, like, you lose like 20%. That would suck to walk out, to walk out already like down 200 grand just by going to a European country. I understand your point. So, just but there was there was also some clarification questions from the surveyees let's about. Close, let's cover those as uh, well. Well, they're like, well, millions not enough. I, I can't retire on that. I'm like, it's not about retiring. If you can't, I mean, like, if you want to move to Costa Rica and a million gets you through the rest of your life, that's great. But I was, I didn't think about it that way. I didn't, I just thought, oh, I'm going to go live somewhere else and still work. That's like a lot of jobs nowadays are remote workers. So yeah. you don't, if you want to go and work at a 7 Eleven in Rome, that's cool. I don't want to work at 7 Eleven. What's wrong with a 7 Eleven? What's wrong with a 7 Eleven? <laughs> Uh, I guess it would be a different. Yeah, I would. Be, I don't know. Whatever that is in Italian. So my thought was, oh, I would just go move somewhere else, and still work, and I could work remotely from my patio in blah blah blah. Yeah, Monte Video. I don't know. Whatever. Right. Okay. Um, was that the only clarification question? Uh, or is a, 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 about a million not being enough? Which is true. It's not enough to not work again. I right. Don't, I don't think. I mean. I think you could squeeze out in some countries. Yeah, like, but absolutely. It would be a, like be I a, heard Ecuador is very yeah. oh, um, expatriate like friendly. Right. Yeah. Costa Rica, Belize mm -hmm. is not bad, but Belize is a lot more Americanized price wise than you think. You know, even though the exchange rate's like two to one, Belize to American dollar, it's mm -hmm. like right. It's still like one point eight or one point nine the cost, so it's not a huge. You're not making out. Right. We're in Europe. Like our salary, say, is fifty thousand dollars here. So it would be fifty thousand euro there. We just lose out on the exchange rate. Oh yeah, you've got to you have to match the exchange rate. Right. A million U.S. dollars equals how many euros? Not so you're not going to lose out. Exactly. So that's yeah, the only. It's, yeah, it's got to be apples to apples. Even though I hate that expression. May I ask one uh, one other no. point of clarification? Or was that no. your only one, or is that's it the only one? Own? Okay, I, I do have one more though. Go. Because I can't ever come back. Correct. May I sell all my assets? Fuck yeah, you can. Plus, get the million. Yes. Okay. Excellent. That helps me because I would sell my assets. Okay. And, you know, I've got a huge ass set. I like big putts and I cannot lie. <laughs> I like big. You you should have a shirt that reads, I like big mutts. <laughs> and I cannot. How did you not come up? Oh, shit. That's how did good. you not come up with that? Sir? I'm sure it exists. I'm sure I'm it gonna does. I'm going to call Hordash and get a, get a copy of that shit. That's what it was. Hordash. Did you did you download the app? Yeah, I sent it to it's you. It's beautiful. Man. Oh <laughs> no, it's nine ninety nine. Didn't that, want to pay for it. That's what it was. Hordash came up on the UFO one. That's yes. what it was. That's what I want to talk about really quickly. This is a clean. Uh, what's that called? One of these laundry items. What, clean up items. House clean, House clean, housekeeping. Housekeeping items. Thank you. About Hordash. I personally saw it as a venture. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, the law sees it as legalized prost uh, illegal prostitution. Of course right? it is. So I guess I'm out. No, you just got to do saying. it in Vegas. I'm just saying. Well, that could be, yeah, that could be. Or what do you call it? Well, not in Paris. Reno. It has to be Las Vegas. It has to like, be Las Vegas. What, the chicken ranch and all that yeah. shit. Isn't that what it's called, right? I think it's a bunny ranch, but I've, chicken ranch works too. I thought it, <laughs> I've, heard, I've heard the chicken dance ranch. <laughs> all right. I should have been on you when you did that because I didn't clap very well. Nice in slow motion, even. <laughs> All right, with my hammer, um, million dollars, local or U.S., whichever is greater. Yes, let's just do that. Yeah. Okay. Exchange rate wise, and yeah. then and go. Okay. 
And we have surveys. Yes. Excellent. Let's. I'm so excited about this. <laughs> You're such a weirdo. I'm looking up. I've got cost of living index pulled indices pulled up. I've got the ten cheapest cities to live in the world. I've got the ten cheapest countries to live and work. I've got the quit your job and live abroad. And I've got the fourteen best countries Did for you Americans who want to live computer? abroad. I googled it on my non-work computer. Why Googles? would I do that? I'm just checking. Sir, how do you spell resignation? The stuff. <laughs> the stuff that I Google on my non-work computer. Hey now. Is not Googled <laughs> on the work it's computer. It's very googly. I Google myself Whoa. while I'm Googling. When I think about you, I Google myself. Oh, I don't want. All right. Who? Ain't anybody else. We're doing this in order again by, by when they come in, correct? That's correct. Man, I wonder if we... I think that is the best way to do it. Yeah, it, incentivizes, it incentivizes the horde to get back to you quicker. <laughs> So they can get a top the of the horde. list. Okay. Have you have you tried a? Have we done a challenge of like we should ask? We're going to ask twenty survey questions over the course. Okay. Of a year, for example. Okay. And we will tally which place that you reply. Oh. And at the end of the year, the person who replies the most on or earliest okay. on average wins like a trophy. Okay. You once again you win nothing. A Hershey kiss. Okay. Coupon. A coupon. bag, a coupon. Coupon. Office cereal box that they have to purchase. Uh, a box of Girl Scout cookies. Oh, is that what you can you get stuff on Girl Scout cookies have coupons on them? I don't know. I just thought oh. I'd spend five dollars and get oh. the winner some Samoas, bro. Thin motherfucking mints. Thin frozen thin mints, bro. Oh, Billy. oh Billy. <laughs> just eat the whole sleeve, man. All right, man. I'm ready. I love to. I want to hear this order that's coming in the way it comes in. All right. The first two suck. I'm going to start getting into a pattern here. I know it. You are. You're responses. going to get in the groove? Okay. The first two are no's, bro. I'm not Madonna, bro. You're not Madonna? The uh, first two are no's from Angela and Heather. Uh, Heather mm. said no. Who's Angela? She's uh, my coworker in the GA. Oh, okay. In North Hotland. Has, has she replied in oh, other? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. What's uh what's one of the ones I would think of that she, she, she was the one who was on a girls trip to Texas when we did the entree side and drink and so she asked all of her girlfriends and they all responded and then one of her girlfriends said the kale motherfucking salad oh that was the one <clears throat> and but Angela had the best drink because she got she gets the Route 44 Sonic something something with nerds candy in it. That yes. was her answer. Yeah, that slushy thing with yeah, nerds. Yeah. Nerds. 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 All right, Angela and Heather. Um, they answered the same thing. Is that what you're saying? Basically, yeah. Oh, okay. So Heather said there's not enough money to bring the kids and wants options to come back to the U.S. if things get crazy. Heather and, said this? Yes. How it, old are her children? <laughs> What's the youngest? Six and... 30? Leave them the fuck home in the United well, States. Jesus wants, Christ, She won't people. be able to visit them. Ah, oh, come on. Look, they can visit her. That's they, the whole fucking could. point. Look, man, don't be judgy, bro. That, but that gives an American to get away from the United States for a little bit. That's get a, away? That's an ins- Yeah. This broadcast is brought to you by Southwest but Airlines. But don't you think? Like, okay, I get it, Heather. But you're, it's not like your kid's like eight. Just yeah, saying. I understand. I'm, I'm just saying. I agree. I can criticize. No, you can't. I can have opinions. <sighs> can I at least have that? Can I have a no, thought? No, that? no. Why? Not, you not get approved. out of it. You get out. Not approved. You're not Ro- allowed hey, to robot. talk anymore. Not Mute. approved. Mute. Man. You're a bot. Not Go a sir. sex bot, just a bot. No. Uh, That's Angela what said the same to thing. Me on Twitter. She said that. no because of my family. And then said, that one was too easy. Oh, so they were both. Oh, my God. I literally was going to, when you gave me, do you want to get away? I was going to go, that was easy. <laughs> I, and I didn't do it. I, see, sh- this is why yeah, I should we need do that shit because I would have precogged. Man. Yes. I would have fucking precogged that. God damn it. This is why I get upset when I don't do things. I was thinking about that. Okay. But anyway. Okay. So, no. We Excellent answer. Nose, bro. Thank you. That's good. And 13 other places. So, who's next? Uh, Vincent said... But I could have told you, Vincent, this world was never meant for one as beautiful as you. Who's that? Uh, Don McLean, the American Pie guy. Oh, okay. Wrote a song called uh, Vincent. Oh, okay. Star- called, and he sings Starry, Starry Night. Oh, I know. Yes, I do know the gentleman. Pretty song. Yeah. And uh, then he beat his wife like three, what? four years ago. Yeah, it's the weird. 
you're like, God damn Don McLean, man. Even, even fucking Don McLean has fucking domestic issues. Like, not to make light of domestic issues. That shit's serious, and he's and he did it. Like, and Tom McLean, American Pie. So when you put your foot in your mouth, what am I supposed to do? The guy drove the Chevy to the <laughs> levee, but the levee was. I'm not make this. I didn't stick my foot in my mouth in that one. I fucking, I support uh, victims, one hundred percent. Oh, that was nice. <laughs> we got Misophonia eight point oh. All right, I'm just saying, it's weird today. Yeah. Uh, don't do that. <laughs> do it on your do it on your beard. Do it on your scrub. There you go. Much better. Yeah. And it won't wear off the That's the styrofoam. coffee cup on the face. That is a coffee cup on the face. You know, we wish more people would watch us on YouTube. Uh, besides me? Uh, we had seven people view us for an average of three minutes and 18 seconds. Oh, shit. That's fucked up. <laughs> it's a weird fucking thing. Uh, and that's with you watching it for eight, the whole thing, right? I uh, didn't watch all I'm, of it most, I'm, but I'm I mean, I... Kidding. The last 10 minutes, I didn't. I, oh, didn't okay. I couldn't finish it. I'll have to catch up on it. Maybe the analytics caught up. Maybe it was behind or something. But last time I checked, it was kind of funny. That is but, weird. Yeah. it's We're not, we don't have much of a tube presence. Just me. So Angela, Heather, they're staying, they're yeah. staying in the States. They got familiar. They're, they're out. Yeah. They're going to stay with their family and be broke ass bitches. No, they're really <laughs> not. I'm just kidding. <laughs> they're really not. They're going to, they're just going to be a million dollars less. Yeah. But you know what? Their heart's going to be full of love. Yes. And family picnics. I, that's a. I get it. I totally get it. Next. Next was oh, Vincent. Kind of, oh yes, Vincent. I would stay put today. If you had asked me that question six months ago, I would have said yes and moved to Taiwan. They've been planning on moving back to the gold standard because they have the metal to back up the currency. Well, how about that shit? The heavy metal. That is a beautiful yeah! thing. I love it. Taiwan, not Thailand, correct? Taiwan, bro. Tai Juan. Yes. Not Thai, Thai not and Juan. Taiwan. Yes. But but Juan, like W A. Yes. I like it. Like Juan it's... Republic. That's my new Mexican band name. Oh my gosh. Oh, welcome to Can Juan I get Republic. Conexion. Con- <laughs> Juan Republic. Hey, hey fucker. Hey fucker. Hey. That's you should do that because I oh, I'm I'm not um, I don't have I'm not I can't you're do white yeah okay pretty much Caucasians and shit yeah Taiwan I was just looking around the around my list to see if Taiwan was on there so so far I've not find found it but okay that's good it's good I, I like I diverse did, bro it would be totally cool to go on the gold standard um is Taiwan Taiwan's not run by any other country. Hong Kong's owned by China, correct? I believe you're correct. But Taiwan is not. And I, I don't know what's going on. Did something happen with Taiwan and Hong Kong, or Hong Kong and China? I don't know. Okay. Yeah, there were like protests and stuff like there were a, a long year time. ago, yeah, right? Yeah, a while ago, right? I don't remember. I don't I'm, know the outcome of that. Yeah, I didn't see it either, so. I, I don't watch it. the news, dude. Yeah. I, what, what, what's the what? Don't watch yeah, the what? the thing. With the, on the channels. What's news? I don't know. I don't know what you're talking about. I have no idea. All right. Thank you, Vincent, for sharing that. I would, I love, I love the gold standard. Yeah. Duh. Duh. Uh, next up is Rob down in the old Pueblo. I would take the money and run to Australia. I'm like, dude, you're going to get your feet wet, man. Good eye, Mike. And then he sent me a bunch of pictures of like kangaroos and shit. And I don't think he, you're right. I don't think he could even run all the way. No, I mean, unless you're on a ship and you're on the treadmill on the ship. Possible. Uh, you can jog around the ship. Yeah. You can do laps around the, the, the love boat, making another run. The Catholic boat. Oh. Where's the Catholic boat? That's South Park. Yeah. Yeah. Not everything's South Park, bro. It is. Just everything is South Park. Everything is a Slayer <laughs> you song. Say, you know you this. Say, you go. And everything I don't care about. Okay. <laughs> you should just be like, everything is South Park. Yes, it is. Everything is either A, a heavy metal band, <laughs> or B, a potential heavy metal song. And Except C, for Gold Standard, that's not a good metal I, song. I don't care. C, I don't <laughs> give a fuck. Yeah, that's all correct. That's fucking beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Taiwan actually is not so bad. Taiwan is number 102 in the cost of living index. And if you put it in with the with cost of living plus rent, we're looking at it's 104th or 102nd overall out of 138 countries that that are listed so it's right it's 
a little more expensive, but it's cheaper than the United States, which is at 121. So there you go. Just saying, as a, as a financial good information. Thing, so it helps. Yeah. So it helps. This so is we can make an informed, fictional decision. Correct. With the cost of Fantastic. living, it becomes it becomes markedly different. It's like 15 points different on the index. I don't know how what that equates to, but that sounds like a big number, 15 points. Yes. Yeah. One's like 40. Taiwan's like 42 and change, and the United States is 57 and change. So there you go. Okay. Love it. Did you know Macau's 122? Macau costs more than the United States. Just FYI. Wow. I don't even know where that is, bro. Uh, it's in, it's in, it's next to Kakao. Okay. Macau. Krakow. Krakow. Krakow, Moscow. <laughs> Moscow. Krakow. But not Crack House. Kata- uh, Macau. Bless you. <laughs> All right, go ahead. Uh, yeah, after Rob was Wayne, uh, Rob's going to Australia. Uh, Wayne What is, are your thoughts about Australia? You I'm down, bro. Sure. Okay. Do they have tacos? Australia's expensive. Okay. More than the United States. It's 129 out of 138 on this index in cost. Okay. But that's pretty high. It's up there. Uh, but it's a but it's a free place. You got all these you got all these quads you could take. You take quads in the outback and you go shrimp on bobbies. Yeah. Good eye. Uh-huh. Talk like that. My name's Michael. <laughs> I'm looking for a girl. Just, I watched uh, yeah. Autism on the, the Spectrum, or Love yeah. on the Spectrum. Love on the Spectrum. Very good show. My name's Michael. Is that on? I think it's Netflix. Okay. Yes. After Robert. After Robert was Wayne, super senior executive producer Mary's husband. He said, just give me the money and shut the hell up. That's it. That's all he said. He doesn't get the so money. So I don't then. know where he's he going, the money, or I don't know any details. That's all I know. Hey, Wayne. You're disqualified. You know what that means. Oh, you got fucking me. I don't think he can have the money. Wayne, I think you're a great guy, but no. He gets four pesos. That's way too much. It is? No. Okay. It's way too much for him. Oh. It's not too much in general. Okay. How much is that? Like eight cents? Yeah, not a lot. I don't know. It used to be eight cents. I think they re... When the peso got to like... One dollar to three hundred pesos. They changed it so it was one dollar to three pesos. They just mm. cut the zeros off at the end. That's smart. But that was years ago, so I don't know what it is. Yeah, now. like a three. It became a three to one. Correct. Exchange. That's smart though. Because it was just ridiculous. Yeah, definitely. Okay, so Wayno just wants to take. Oh, take money and run. Yes, but his name's not Bobby Sue or Billy Joe. No. Oh, Billy Billy Mac. Billy dete- Macau. No, Billy Mac is <laughs> Billy Macau. He was a detective down in Texas. Billy from Macau. Okay. Yeah. Like it. Thanks, Wayne. Uh, you're disqualified. We've already established that. <laughs> Once again, you've won nothing. And sir, who who do you have? Adam next? Roberts is up next. Mm? It. Bert, mm? Eh? Adam said no because all the places I would go would require more than one million dollars, and all the places I could live on only that million dollars are probably shitholes. People frequently forget Wyoming is a state. So I can, if I can get away with that, sure, give me the million and I'll move back to Wyoming. <laughs> what? Dude. No. You're not, what if Wyoming like I, annexed? Adam, I respect, I, I, I have courtesy for you and possible respect, but that may have been lost. But my courtesy I, for I you do stands. admire his attempt at a loophole. I do, I do. Like, it clearly states, clearly, leaving the United States. Right, but. <laughs> it's like the first fucking stipulation. People frequently forget Wyoming is a state. That's a fucking but valid. But Wyoming is, right. So you can't choose Wyoming because it's a fucking state. What if Like they, you've already disqualified. What if it's they just with seceded your, from the union? With your God's damned stupid redundant argument. What if Wyoming. You just said it's a state. Seceded and they went to war with the United States. Then, then it would be, it wouldn't. It would be the country of Wyoming, and yes, that would Wyoming be the Wyoming War of twenty twenty one. Because I, I think Montana would be pretty fucking cool. That should be like, where, what state would you escape to? Because, oh, yeah. but I, I like Arizona. Yeah. I, it's look, it's not a, every place has fucking oh, yeah. good stuff and bad of stuff. Of course. Look, um, uh, I, don't I don't know if you know, know this, but I don't want to say like Joe Rogan's cursed. Is he cursed? Well, let's see. California fire, Texas oh. ice. 
Hmm. Hmm. Wherever Joe Rogan goes, there seems to be some problems now, doesn't it? So is he the devil or no. is he He's Gilligan. Oh man. With the hat. Okay, the little buddy. Shirt. He's a big buddy though. He could because he can kick some ass. Yeah. So but I I like him, so it's cool. But he's fire and ice now. It's like he's Whoa. I it came to me that I'm like, wait a minute. He leaves, boom. Look at that. Does that follow it might be a CIA thing. They might try to discredit him. <gasps> So they put 150 million people like uh, out of power or whatever under a winter storm advisory okay. just to get him to come out of the woodworks. What do you think of that conspiracy? I think that's fucking dumb. Yeah, total bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Who's next? Up next, the Georgia boys. Oh, and Adam gets no money. He picked fucking Wyoming. So no. Okay. Now, So right now we've discovered four out of six have not even qual- qualified for the money. Four out of six have said no. Do they get right? all you can eat sushi? They can get go all they want there, but they're <laughs> well, but if they get eight dollars sushi, they're, they're losing fucked. every time. <laughs> Georgia boy one. Yes, two, three. Georgia boy one. Nice. They actually responded in order of their nu- numerical. I should tell them. Plan. Please coordinate and respond Please in order. Co- yeah. No. Stop. Okay. Mm. Stop typing. Now you go. A Georgia boy one. Just waving people on. Uh, yes, he would move to Eastern Europe because Eastern Europe. And then he sent okay. a picture of Can like he give it a country. He gave a, he gave a picture of this little house on the Hungarian countryside. So, it was fucking lovely. So Hungary? Yes, I'm fucking hungry. I'm, I love Hungary. It's so it's <laughs> my favorite place to be. Number fifty nine on the index, my friend. Wow. So remember. Uh, yeah. U.S. is 57. This is 28 and change. So it's a lot less than 15. It's like 30 difference, almost 30 Whoa. points difference on the index. I don't know what the, once again, I, I'm not a rocket scientist. Or a brain I surgeon. can just read numbers and probably create more confusion than I solve. But. Okay. But this is number 59. It's the 59th out of 138 countries least or lowest indices for cost of living. Uh, it's a good thing. It's bottom uh, third. It's a bottom bottom half. Yeah, Mackenzie and, and I were uh, chatting on the, on the Google chat at the job today, and I go, she goes, you should just quit because we say that shit every day as a joke, right? And I go, I'm moving to Mexico for a million dollars. Then she said, all the tacos, gato tacos, goat tacos, and my response was meow. Bah. <laughs> And I cracked, gato for cat. I cracked myself up. <laughs> gato bah. and goat. So you just have to have a dyslexic problem, and then you could get cat or do- or, or goat. goat. Correct. Cat or goat. I've mm. seen a gato taco sign in Guadalupe before. For real. I was like, shut the front door. They have cat tacos. I mean, it probably tastes like chicken, right? But it's pretty unusual. I've never, I don't think I've had it. Are you, hello, Are you, do I need to do CPR, bro? Clear. What the fuck, dude? Cat, cat fucking tacos? Yeah, there was a big sign on the sidewalk, and it said G-A-T-O tacos. But, I mean, I've had goat before in Mexico. It's a, it's a rat burger. It needs a little ketchup. <laughs> was that Demolition Man, where they're the sewers? Yes. This, this, this is a rat burger. <laughs> yeah, yo. Nothing sets off yeah. the flavor of steak like ketchup. Oh, man. And then they had an Oldsmobile 442 in that. That was pretty awesome. Yeah. Nice car. Okay, Hungary. Hungary. We're getting there so yes. close, too, because I'm getting hungry. I know. Next up, GB2. Yes, he would leave and go to Taboga Island, Panama. It is the motherland. As GB2 is half Panamanian. Panama. When you, when you factor in the cost of living... With the rent index, yeah, Panama is ninety eight out of one thirty eight at so the, the thirty nine versus fifty seven. So the higher the number, the cheaper it is. I think the higher the number, the worse it is for you. I think the lower number, the index. I think you want the number to be low, don't you? I don't know. I'm asking you. Yeah, you do. Because when you look, when I look at the, I'm going to go so through what's this. So number one? Are Pakistan. You, shut the front door. Okay, let it's me. The most expensive place to live? No, cheapest. Cheapest. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. The shit. Okay. So I don't the higher the number, is, the more expensive. That's what I think. I think the higher the number because at one thirty eight, 
is Bermuda. At 137 okay. is Switzerland. So those and are 136 expensive. is Hong Kong, which Hong Kong is this very high mecca. Yeah, business. Business, scene. call it commerce right. establishment thing. Yeah, so I'm I'm assuming those are the numbers. Pakistan, so this is Tambro. Ready? Yeah. I'm going to read from. Do you want to wait till the end? The yeah. T- the top, let's yeah. do the top 10 was, and the bottom 10. I was just going to read until you tell me a country that you'd be actually acceptable to even step foot in. How about that? Let's just do bottom and top 10 at the end. Yes. Okay. Perfect. Anyway. There we go. So Panama is on the list, and it was on one of these other lists as well of places to go. So, congratulations! I it's also a phenomenal Van Halen song. Yeah. So thank you for uh, sharing GB2. Panama. <laughs> I'm trying to find it really quickly so that I can uh, read about it, but it's not on this one, and I don't want to go through all of them. So okay. If I find it, I'll read it. Go ahead. GB3. Yes. GB3. Yes. He would have take the money and run. I found Panama. Do you want to do Panama real quick? No. Okay. What? Go ahead. Why? Panama's warm and tropical. The currency is U.S. dollar. The tax burden is low. Large English-speaking population, including excellent doctors. It lies completely outside the hurricane belt. Boom. Let's get the fuck out High of here. High-speed internet cell coverage, remarkable. What the fuck are we doing here? I don't know. Let's go, bro. Like, it's, I'm ready to I mean, fucking get malaria and dig canals. It's pretty... I mean, except for being humid, is there a downside? Your, oh, getting that rag. That, oh, the, that the, you reused the one? The douchebag rag? Oh, yeah. yeah, this... Oh, you, you pick a wrong time to come to Panama. That was... This is not a good time for Sounds more like you. Cuba. I don't... Is it Latinish? It is Latinish. Okay, so... <laughs> Shouldn't it sound similar? Uh, Shouldn't it sound? Shouldn't it sound Cubano? Mm -hmm. You've come to Panama for the wrong time. It is hot. Let me take out my sweater. It is January. It is hot. (laughs) Let me take out my sweat rag and then ring it out on top of your gato. (laughs) Your gato tacos. My gato taco needs seasoning. I I will put it with. Okay, stop it. Get the camera off me, bro. Get off me. All right. All right Panama's done. That, but that I'm sold. Like, I don't think I think we should end the podcast. I think Panama's gonna be the winner, bro. It probably will be. Because they got gato tacos, man. And it, yeah. And when you count in the rent, it is way less expensive to live than than the United States. So it's a huge it's a huge jump. Yes. Next up is GB3. Yes, he'd leave. I'd probably do it for less as well. The U.S. is a failed experiment running on fumes. And I'd rather not be around when we lurch to a full stop. The Hebrides, Hebrides, I can't pronounce that shit. H-E-B-R-I-D-E-S. Hebrides Islands off the west coast of Scotland. Or any remote fishing village in Latin America. Whatever. Whatever. Yeah, so he either wants to go to Latin America or Scotland. So I was like, fuck yeah, dude. But he thinks U.S. is going to burn down. I love, I love experiment failed. Like, like the founding fathers got together and like, hello, we don't lot of British, right? We don't like to no. Let, hey, I got an idea. We know Britain, yeah, they're pretty mean guys, but we like them. We're good, right? Let's just start a social experiment, and we'll try to break away, and we'll be individual rights, right? We'll do it that way. See what happens. It's not a fucking experiment. They wanted to break. You know what I mean? Like, I never understood how it's called a social experiment. Or the great experiment. It it was um, people thinking individual rights were better. <laughs> I, I know what you're thinking. I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> what that was what was wrong with that that was on topic he said it was a failed experiment it was about his comment anything else what? yes what? <laughs> how do you feel about this isle in scotland are you uh, familiar with the island no. did you look it up no okay i don't know i'm not familiar i'm just it. the reporter of the information bro is it the one that was in the last jedi Sure. The one that Luke and I don't, yeah, I don't, Ray is like, here, yeah. here, take this. <laughs> here, take your lightsaber, That was bro. the best Star Wars <laughs> line ever, dude. Here, here take this. <laughs> here, take, here. You got, hey, hey, Luke, you want your, you want your thing back? You want your, you, you want hey, your Luke, thing? hey, Luke, do you, you want, want your thing, thing back? 
<laughs> hey, look, do you want your thingy back? Do you back? want your laser sword, your bro? Thing, your thing. <laughs> do you want your thingy back? I sorry, I'm sorry. I meant your thingy. Your little metal cylinder thingy with the light stick <laughs> thing. Okay, next. Next up was Roberto. No, he would not leave. One million is not enough. I do have a price, though. Probs. Quote, probs. Probs, 100 million. That's all right. I was like, dude. A, that's it's, ridiculous. That's excessively more than one. And yeah, it's like, I think it's like almost 99 more. Yeah. <laughs> uh, that's, that's a lot, dude. 99 more is a lot. Shit. It's like literally 100 times more. <laughs> Correct. 100 times more. Yes. Just 99 more. And one to the hundredth more. power. Yeah. Um, he, I believe he's missing out on the spirit of the of the question yes so let's move on let's okay let's disregard i thought probs was funny but probs is hilarious <laughs> oh yeah Pro obs obs ob obs probs is funny because obs is i obviously yeah rfl did we have that conversation on air before we talked about it or was that off air and we carried no, it? Oh, that like was we talked about that it. was on the podcast, dude. Which okay, because you we were talking about the Beckhams, and oh, you, yeah, that's and you right. said would that be <laughs> an M F M or F M M or M M F? Correct. Like I don't that's fucking right. know the rules on this shit. That's right. Okay, I just wanted to confirm. <laughs> well, what, what the funny is we're gonna do we're gonna do a side tangent because we got I got a message. On matchmaker.fm, which connects podcasters with interviewees or oh, guests. I thought or it was whatever. a dating one. No, it's literally it's to connect podcasters and guests. Okay. So that's cool. I have myself I have uh, well, I have myself as a guest, possibly ever or us, whatever, yeah. not conscious yeah. repair Googles, as on one side, as also as the podcast. So some guests email us and ask to join That's and cool. I forwarded those before like we had a flat earther who wanted to come on yeah and some other stuff anyway but the guy's like I'm interested I'm new to MMFM and I was the second I saw that shit I just like <laughs> spit take because I'm like what but then it was mm.fm which like, is yeah, matchmaker.fm fucking hilarious because we talked about mmffm the last two podcasts male male There's female yeah, something like that. In a menage, menage quatre. Yes. Siete, ocho, nueve. Cuatro. Cuatro. Do, uh, dodecahedrano. Yes. Uh, that one. Correct. Okay. Next is Abel. He said, if I was alone and had no family, then yes, I'd probably go to Vancouver. Expensive. Well. But it's a beautiful place. Maybe he's going to work there. I don't, you know what I mean? I'm just saying it's expensive. I'm not it is, yeah. It's, I'm not saying he can't do it. We'll just move to Vancouver Island. Mm. What's is that even more posh? No, it's like smaller towns. Okay, but is it actually an island? Like, is it? It is actually okay. an island. So, wouldn't it have be a little more posh? Like, almost like Coronado Island would be for San Diego. I don't. Know. I, don't I don't know. Because Vancouver is such a. It's actually an attraction, like it's right? west of the city. Okay, so it's its own independent island. Very cool. Canadian is a great place. How yeah, go wrong, and they got they got the did did did, the Tylenol did did did, where it has like codeine or morphine or something. Oh, Co I think it's codeine. Yeah, the one that Chris Berman fucking ranted about on his YouTube. Oh, I didn't thing. know he ranted about that. Yeah, he basically like there's two times I saw Chris Berman go off. One, he like started cursing and like yelling at people, and just remember that Bill O'Reilly one with the fucking rant. Yes. It was like that. It yeah. was that nuts. But I think it was even worse. And then the second one was like, hey, I love when I got to go to Canada to do, you know, a quick, you know, sports thing. I'll just stuff a couple de 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 in my uh, in my corner of my suitcase or whatever because it has codeine and it's Tylenol. Where does de 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 come from? Because it means stand for two. It's two milligrams of codeine or something. So oh, de 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 is okay. what the name of the, like, it's like the type. Okay. Yeah. So it has something to do with the milligram strength or something. Okay. That sounds good. Yeah. Let's, I love that do. shit. It's delicious. Fucking, I'm awful. When I had the bronchitis, that shit was amaze balls. Was that is that does bronchitis have an H? Oh yeah, <laughs> three silent ones. Bronchitis. <sighs> yes, bronchitis. Three silent. Even. Yes. All right. And who's next? Jose Luis, my cousin, uh, said, "Nope." As effed up as our country is, 
It is still the USA. I thought you said America. people like actually replied. Dude, we had I three Georgia boys. We got goddamn Eastern Europe, bro. God, we got <laughs> fuck. We got Kazakhstan. We have fucking. We got the neighbor we have of Czech Panama Czech. and Scotland Czech. and Hungary, bro. That's awesome. Czech Mark's neighbor is like correct. Yes, yes. Uh, Eastern Europe. Thank you very much. Yeah. Get off me, bro. Next up, <laughs> Mackenzie said, no, I would not. A million bucks just isn't enough to uproot my life, leave my family and friends, etc. And there really isn't another country I'm eager to live in. Maybe like the Netherlands or Denmark or some shit. But they are really picky about who they let in. And I don't even know if I want to live there. I've never visited. With all the current travel restrictions, question mark. Yuck. You're welcome for the most long-winded no of all time. <laughs> I appreciate that part. <laughs> that was awful. No, no, that was great. It was an excellent explanation of no. Correct. I think you got that backwards. <laughs> so either get on me, bro. Get off me, bro. Or whatever. Um, Mackenzie uh, want, does not want to live in the Netherlands. I once again, I think one, the spirit of the question was lost because it's like they won't even let me in. No, that really wasn't the question. Well, the question was, would you accept a million dollars? And would then, you, where no, would you live? It is a yes no question. No, no, but where would and where would you go? And she said, I would, I would consider Netherlands, but they wouldn't let me in. I'm like, well, what does that have to do with the question? So it's already like no in her head that she can't even get to where she would want to go. She wanted to go there. She should have been like, Netherlands, and just like let it at that. That was really good. You like it? it Netherlands. Like, Netherlands. You have to throw the arm. Ah, yeah. <laughs> uh, next up is little Stevie Miller. No, because I would miss my family and this is home. Even if home sucks sometimes. Bro. Yeah. I don't know if you know this. What? Everywhere the sucks. The grass is always greener everywhere. Else. Duh. There's a whole reason. Unless a it's whole in the saying. Sahara, there's no grass. There's bro. a reason there's a saying. Yeah. There, I'm surprised at these numbers. Why wouldn't people just say, oh, I'd love to live here? Like, it's like it's like they actually think that you're going to give them a suitcase of a million, with a million dollars in it Monopoly. on the spot. Monopoly money. And, bro. like, shove them in a plane. Like, seriously. Like, what I would the never fuck? shove them. I would escort well, them what I'm saying. gently onto the aircraft. Well, pushing, pressing the small of their back nicely. Y yes. <laughs> Move along now. Move along. Let's Got, go. Move along. Move along. <laughs> These aren't these aren't the locations for which you're looking. For which? Yes, uh, Star Wars got it wrong. You don't end on a preposition, especially not with a gentleman, a thespian such as Alec Guinness, sir. Thespian. Yeah, he wasn't just some fucking run in the mill goddamn I fucking actor. I, I, I he is uh, classically trained, mm -hmm. like Shakespeare's and shit. Yes, and that is for whom. The drawers. These aren't the drawers for whom you're looking. Well, okay. That's George Lucas's fault, dude. That's not Alex Guinness. Alex fault. should have been like, bro. Bro. He should have been like, bro. I don't like this. I, you no, know, he's got more classical, right? He's more like, hello. Indubitably, I do not like. I do not like. Indubitably, your grammar is shitty. Excuse me, Senor Lucas. I do not like that you you end in prepositions. The queen does not like it. I do not like it. I'm a sir. You should respect me. Or else I might walk. I, I don't know, bro. I don't know. Let me know when you're done. Oh, I'm done. Thank the gods. You're watching Battlestar Galactic again, too. I am not. If we can fast forward to the press shit, I would. Bro, Fuck there's off. so little of that. I can't, I, I can't I'm watching stand it. it. I'm binging it, and it's. I thought it would be like that again, but I've been watching it, and it's been so much other stuff. But it is there is the human stuff, which gets me. I like the human stuff, oh, well. like the interpersonal relationships. Oh, well, yeah. I like that. That's, there's I a lot of that. I don't like the... Well, there's a lot of backstabbing in humanity and all that. Well, of course things. there is, but... Okay. It just shows. It shows. But there's all no it. reason to have those scenes. I will say that show is really bulletproof in the way they wrote it. Like it's just really well, just well thought out in its entirety, not just like plugged together. Yeah. Anyway, fantastic. I would not move to Cylon. Why not? What's the Cylon. World? You could live on a battle star. I mean, what do you call it? Thing? No, Cylons so, are the. I understand that. Would I? Be, would I be banging the blonde? Well, all of the them. dark-haired, the other dark, the Lucy Lucy Lawless, who's in pornos. All the sixes. 
Xeno Princess Warrior. Can I bang her too? She's gay, but sure. She's one of them. She is. Is she gay? Is, she, is her Cylon counterpart homosexual? I think so. Completely? I don't know. Okay. I was just M M M F. <laughs> Fuck, I don't know. I'm trying to figure out how many. That's what I'm trying to see what there's I can get. There's an infinite number because there's a resurrection ship, dude. Ellen's a little huzo. No, they blew it up, bro. What? They blew it up in like... Isn't there multiple resurrection ships? I don't know how this thing's work. I'm trying to figure it out if they put it on the, on New Caprica because that's where I'm at right oh, now. Oh, New Caprica. This is such a tangent I don't okay. even know. But it's fun. It's a fun tangent. Yeah. Hopefully nerds are paying attention and listening. Battlestar Galactica nerds. Not the nerds in the drink. So excited. I know it's the 17th, but on the 19th, yeah. we're releasing our Star Wars ranked, and I'm so excited about that. Okay. Our 11 movie theatrical releases. Yes. Rogue One, bitches. Rogue One, Solo, and the other nine. Yes. Or the other nine and those two. Correct. You're good at math. Uh, next up, after Steve, is his lovely wife, Felicia. Felicia. Am I going to yell at her and then and then make up? Uh, it's pretty good. I like I like her okay. response. All right, Felicia, hit me. I mean, Chris, Acme's Felicia. Felicia says, also, no, I agree with Steve and would miss my friends and family, but one million in today's world isn't enough to retire slash fully live on. So now you move to another country, you most likely will still have to work and you may, may not be able to, per the country's legal system, visas, citizenship, etc. However, if you said 10 million I would have responded if there was a timeline when one had to leave. If none, yes, in all caps. I would leave, but only after my, our parents were gone. Siblings and younger family members could always come visit you. And with 10 million or more, you could afford to fly them out. 1 million would not allow for that. Sorry for that was windy. I need a drink. <laughs> Check mark is sleepy, sleepy time. I'm enraged that you think that I would accept that as an answer. Well, at least it's thorough and well thought out. No million for you. <sighs> I'm sure she'll make up for it on the next podcast. But on this one, eh, it's not looking good. Okay. Our relationship's on lifeline. Beep. 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 Claire. Get the paddles, bitches. Um, I do like the answer, and the parents being gone, I get that. But you shouldn't care about any of that. Uh, you should care about your happiness. I mean, I guess maybe there that makes that's part of your that's part of their happiness. So it's not part of mine. Like, <laughs> I don't know. Please get off me, bro. Lastly, Brian. Did she choose a place? No. She just say yes, but she didn't say where. Correct. So how do you accept that as an answer? Dude, I, I First of all, she wants 10 million. Then she doesn't even give us a place. And she's waiting for her parents to, to kick it. I don't appreciate you contributing to my drinking problem, dude. I don't know why people say what they say. I just report the goddamn information. Hmm. Hmm. I Thank you for stating that the correct way. I contribute to your drinking problem because Megzi is all like, you make me happy. And I reply with, you contribute to my happiness. Ooh. And she's like, and she gets it because she knows. And then oh. she goes, you contribute to my hungriness sometimes, like when, mm. when it's dinner time nice. or something. And, and when she's making pulled pork. Oh, so good. But, you, but in this case, yeah, you contribute to my drinking. Thank you for not saying you make me drink. I contribute to it. Yes. Well said. It's like 85% and of the problem, but no. Couldn't be more 57. correct. Couldn't be more correct and just more well said. 46. All right, who, who we have? Lastly, we have Brian. Get off me, bro. He said, nope. I would need more than that to get whiskey, wings, and beer. However, he would like to move to Fiji, Bahamas, or Thailand. Basically, any tropical destination seems good to me, but I need more than a million dollars. Bro. Fiji is number 82. Okay. It's expensive, right? Uh, actually, it's pretty inexpensive. What? Uh, yeah, but I would think the cost of living is inexpensive unless you're like on a resort. Like, I would think the resort stuff would be expensive. Right. So, like, some some Hawaiian islands are not necessarily expensive to live. Like, maybe own it, but not rent. Like, you could rent and live and, and, 
and live your life out there, right? But isn't everything more expensive there, like a gallon of gas and that a gallon be, of milk, and because everything has to be flown in, right? Right. But I don't know how much you you probably have a bicycle. I don't even know if you have a bicycle, car. Bicycle. Right? Aren't you like their little island? I don't know. I don't know the whole ins and outs. I don't know what their their transportation systems like. I don't know what they use. Mm -hmm. So I can't speak to that, unfortunately. But it's showing here the cost of living with the rent is like uh, 82nd overall, 33 versus 57 in the United States. So that's Fiji. Thailand was a on a lot of lists. Thailand is 81st, so it's right above Fiji. And then the last one was Bahamas, he said, right? Yeah. That, well, you said that was one of the most expensive. I think I said Bermuda. Yeah, oh, Bahamas. yes. Bermuda is the most expensive. Listen to this. Bermuda's number is 120 index. Bahamas is only 10 behind it. 61 half the I don't, number i don't understand your what you're talking about well this index thing this okay. index number i'm talking about the index number for bermuda is tw or is twice the number of bahamas but it's only 10 down the line oh, down the list okay so that i didn't understand what the bermuda is the about. last one 138th with its index that that is 120 is the number and then switzerland at 95 which is the one right above it and bahamas did we not? Talk, why are you looking at me like we didn't just talk about I did, this? Like for I did. I didn't. There's two different numbers that you're referencing, and I didn't oh, understand the rank. the The okay. low, the the 128 number or the 138 number is the rank in the country. So Bahamas is ranked 128th with an index of 61 and change. Bermuda is 138 versus 128 ranked, but its index is 120, so it's almost double. So it just tells you how like exclusive Bermuda is, but Bahamas. Is is pretty? Can, you can get there. Yeah, you can do the Bahamas. Oh, I'm glad that you approve. I don't care. <laughs> you know what? I don't care is the name of a good band no. and a good fucking album song. Nah, it's title. not either. No, it's that was Phil Collins. I don't, I don't care, care anymore. When I, mm, 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 bad things disappear, and you're making me feel like I'm loved by somebody. I can deal with the bad lie. Do you want to go to the top and bottom ten, or do you want to reveal our answers yes. first? I would like you to reveal your answer, sir. Okay. No, actually, this is what we'll do. We'll do that. We'll do this. I'm going to read from the the lowest, the cheapest you mean place, Pan you mean the lowest index number, and you tell me the Pakistan. You tell me when you feel comfortable going. Okay. Hey, you ready? Yeah. Pakistan. No. Libya. No. Kyrgyzstan. Exactly. No. Afghanistan. No. I don't think you go here, but you All might. The India. I just think it's... I, just, I can't do the curry, man. Well, that's I'm interesting. Sorry. It's so low. Okay, go ahead. Well, it's inexpensive because, I mean, think about the landmass and how many billion, like a billion people. China's probably pretty inexpensive, too, but it's not... A free, it's like, yeah, but it, are you gonna to. live in Beijing or are you gonna live in on in the countryside? Right, right? I'm just saying India is relatively inexpensive, that's why we outsource so much, right? I mean, it was the whole yeah. point, it saved us a shit ton of money because it's a cheaper place to do this to hire people, yeah. right? So, India is next, okay? Algeria, I don't know enough about, I don't know, I don't know yeah, I would, anything. I would be scared to do that too. This one, I might just be, but not live there, Nepal, and that would just be to check the monks out. I'd be like, yo, monks, what's up? Well, isn't that where Everest is? Dalai Lama and shit, right? Isn't that? Isn't I believe Nepal? so. Yeah. yeah. Syria, no, no, thank you. Zambia, Africa, no, thank you. I don't think right. Zambia is in Africa. I correct. Uzbekistan, no, no, thank you. Tunisia, no, thank you. Egypt, Georgia, Turkey, Ukraine. Kosovo, Ukraine, maybe. Okay, Ukraine is that? Yeah, isn't. Is that the one that they, they didn't invade Ukraine, didn't they? Didn't the Russians invade Ukraine? They invaded the Crimean Peninsula, where it's just, I don't know where. Isn't that Ukraine? Isn't that Ukraine? I don't know. Okay. Anyway, Kosovo's the next one. And in parentheses, disputed territory. Hmm. Yeah, that's what I'd like Yeah, to. don't live in yeah. a disputed territory. <laughs> Bangladesh, Kazakhstan, Uganda, Belarus, Sri Lanka, Azerbaijan. That's where I'd still go. 22 down the list. She doesn't listen to our oh, podcast. Okay, good. Whew. No, and then Brazil's the next one below that, so that's where I definitely. Well, but they have got some. Don't they there's have some, some serious, political and health water there's issues? Some serious crime issues. Yeah, in Sao Paulo and in Rio, there's some real dangerous areas. Yeah, it's pretty scary. All right, so those are the top 
20 some. The bottom 10, we'll do it just with Bahamas, right? Sure. Oh, actually, we'll do it 127, Israel. 128, Bahamas. 129, Australia. 130, Ireland. 131, Denmark. 132, Iceland. 133, Norway. Luxembourg, Singapore, Hong Kong, Switzerland, and rounding out at 138, Bermuda. Look at that. Denmark, Iceland, Norway. Scandinavian. Switzerland. All those are in the top or the bottom 10. Or the highest. Most expensive. Yep. Tells you how good they do stuff. All right. What are your thoughts about that? Oh, it makes sense. Yeah. That's 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 all I have to say about that. All right. Well, it's time for you to share. So we might get under an hour. Get the hell out of here. Are we really gonna do it? No. <laughs> I'm stretching. Uh I would absolutely take the money. I would take a lot less. I would take four dollars. Why would you? Because hey, this is another thing. Yeah, I don't like this. I'll take less. Take the fucking million dollars, bro. I'm. I would love to take a million dollars. Oh, okay. I would take less. Then I'm offering less. That's okay. the point. That's the whole problem. Because I don't. I don't look at it as oh retiring. I look at it as oh I'm gonna go live in another country and continue to work. That's the way I pr process the question. And then I thought, okay, well, I could, I could live in, I would love to live in Canada, Mexico, Japan. Then I thought, well, why wouldn't I just rent a house and live in a different country for a year, every year move, live in Italy for a year, France, Spain, yeah, because it was, it was to leave, it was a million dollars to leave the United States. Correct, basically, right? So, but I could every I could do whatever I want. I could, you know, like kind of verbo it, so to speak, right? And then get a rail pass and tr on the weekends just travel Europe and see everything, and then move. You know, South America. I mean, Will and his wife went all over South America, Chile, Chile. Uh, Venezuela, a bunch of other countries. Panama, I would totally live in Panama. Panama sounds really nice. I would not want to live in the in the hurricane belt. That would, as much as I've seen, uh, there's a one of the top golfers in the world. He he's from the UK, but he lives in Bermuda because he's obviously a multi multi millionaire. But they, you know, when there was a hurricane, him and his family had to get out. And good thing that's one of the most top ten expensive places in the world to live. I don't think I'd want to live in China, but absolutely uh, Japan. I would love to experience that culture. Uh, so yes, I um, would be like, bye. I like it. And come visit me wherever I'm at. Hey, uh, this year I'm going to be in Portugal, and next year I'm going to be in fucking Scotland. Whatever. And okay. then experience a different culture for a year and try to learn the languages. Would you have a fixed location or would you just not you just kind of, i don't want to say like live out of a backpack but basically uh bruce banner it yeah probably just just take what i need right and well, yeah so no furniture or anything like that no just take right correct just clothes literally and, a week's worth of clothes what would you have possession wise you think my work would you have a car car load full no probably not my work laptop yeah, obviously. Um, and that's it. <laughs> All right. And some Iron Maiden shirts, bro. I have a big TV. I always need big TV. Oh. Yeah, yeah I mean, bro. you can, but if you, uh, it's all you can always go buy whatever you want, wherever you are. Like, furnish a house, right? And then right. sell it all at the end of the year. Oh, yeah, you could do that. So, or you get a furnished place. I like it. Hell yeah, I'm gone. Bye. You were, you were out the, f you were out the door, my friend. Yeah, then I get to play golf all over the world. Hell yeah, dude. Rent a Ducati in Italy. Fucking turbo all around. Hell yeah. Hmm. Interesting. I like it. It's a very good one. I was going to go down this one last list before I gave my answer. If I may. Yeah. This is, I'll post all the three links that oh, I yeah. used. Yeah, I always do it to the notes. Okay. I don't, I don't say, I was going to say we need to talk about this on a topic. I, that's what we don't do. Okay. I was if I say we're gonna put the link up, put the link up. I was a little behind on the uh, Russell Targ one, the TEDx one on the last yeah. one, but it's up now. Okay, so it's reposted. Vietnam is number one on this list. Wow. Well, not I don't know if it's ranked, but it's the first one listed. Ghana, huh? Spain, 
Interesting. Argentina. Are these least expensive? Germany. Or what, what's these this? are best for like expats because okay. it has to do with just what, like how comfortable it is for Americans and how generally easy to do it, it is to integrate, I guess. And pro cost of living too. South Korea is on here. New Zealand, Uruguay, Thailand, Canada. There's your, there's your Vancouver, Georgia, which is that country that was in that bottom yeah. cost of living. So that's an interesting one. The Republic of Georgia was already one of the best countries in the world for digital nomads. Wow. As wandering types could stay up for up to a year on a tourist visa. So that's perfect for you. Yeah. You go there just one year at a time, right? Peace out. Uh, but the government just relaxed its visa requirements even further with a remotely from Georgia program that allows remote workers earning at least $2,000 per month to reside in the country for a full year. So you don't even need, yeah, it's, you don't even have to apply for a visa, it looks like, or something. Remotely from Georgia. That's cute. Mexico's on here. I would think that's literally cost of living because some cheap, cheap ass places. You just get a shack. See, because that's what I thought you were going to do. I thought you were just going to go no. just south well, of the border. Just, like, yeah, Tijuana. No, dude. Not TJ's. TJ's. Don't go to TJ. No, go to the one that's south of uh, the, the Yuma one over there. Rocky Point? Yeah, but not that south. I'm talking just on the other side of the border over there. Uh, no, not Nogales, right? I don't know what it is. Yeah, no, no, no Nogales. I guess Nogales okay, would yeah. be, yeah. But I'm saying that way you could be as close to America, like... It's hot there. Is it hot? Yeah. But it's a dry heat. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> hey, guess what? I don't care. <laughs> um, Australia, did I say Australia? Costa Rica. Rob said so. Australia. My first thought was Costa Rica, just because I've heard so many good things about Costa Rica. And it's not I, in the hurricane zone. It's not in the zone... Uh, but the Panama is also not on the zone. But I'll read this piece about Costa Rica. In a lot of ways, Costa Rica feels like California broke off from North America, headed south, grew a rainforest, got rid of its superiority complex. A steady democracy that spends its money on education instead of the military, Costa Rica has been chummy with the U.S. for more than 150 years, making culture shock minimal for those who wish to call it home. Though be forewarned, tourist visas are a cinch, but residency can be slow going for anyone who's not working for a big company. And once you get here, residency is going to be top of mind. So that makes sense. I like it. I would do it. The other one would be Belize also. $4. Just because I traveled to Belize. And the question is this. There's different keys, which are different islands. Oh. And would I live on Belize mainland? Okay. Or would I live on the island? Because the only way off the island is boat or plane, obviously. Duh. But you can't run. You're isolated. I, I can't run to Australia, Rob. <laughs> <laughs> I could walk maybe slowly with a rebreather. Maybe. Oh, that's a swim. I can walk on the ground. Well, maybe oh, yeah. it depends how deep. Right. I'm, you don't want to get my crushed. Ears pop. Yeah, I don't right. want to get crushed either. You got to worry about the bends, bro. God forbid we get bent. Yeah, that's get bad. Get bent, yeah. bro. Bunked, bent, whatever. Bunked, bent, debunked. Bunked. All the bunks. Okay, so Costa Rica, uh, Bel but Belize was really awesome. The key that I was on, I think, was Amburgus Key, and that was a really awesome one. Um, and you could get a house maybe for like two fifty, okay, two hundred fifty thousand. Right. So what I do is I obviously with all the assets, I basically just sell this house. I'd have a little, and then get a house over right. there, yeah, and then just live, and then work and work because that I don't think you could retire. Uh, yeah, I I agree. Cool. That's really cool, Belize, man. Belize, yeah, I would do that as well. Yeah. They have tacos, right? They got a big blue hole <laughs> that Heather is going to want to visit, but I, she's not invited. No. Once again, Dude, Heather has disqualified All kinds herself. of submarines today, man. Yeah, I went and diver down three times. Hell yeah. I can do it. I, we know it wasn't overly excessive. I love it. I it love wasn't a button, Woodsian amount. Button excessiveness is my favorite, bro. <laughs> button pressing excessi excessivity. Disorder. All right. Excessive button disorder. That's what I have, bro. What else do you have? Push sir? the buttons, push the buttons, push the buttons, and, and, push the buttons, push the buttons. Push the buttons. Ha <laughs> <laughs> uh, now that everyone's thrown up and has vertigo. <laughs> um That is all I have, sir. <laughs> all right. Well, let's close it out. Thank you for everyone's submissions. Over half of them were no. Like only well, how many what what do we get? 15 responses. Yes. Eight yeses, eight moves, seven moves, maybe? Y eight. Wow, and seven no's. That's yeah. too close. 
can't have that. We need more people wanting to leave this motherfucker. We place. need a big, bigger jury, I guess. You need. We're gonna need a hundred million dollars. We're gonna need <laughs> her hundred X. We need a billion dollars. <laughs> Eleven D billion. All right, man. Well, thanks for uh, coming on a Wednesday. Thank you for joining us. This is the shortest one I think I I've ever seen. Uh, it's yeah, the top <laughs> That's two. That's what she said. Whoa, uh, sir. Would you like to close it out? Yes. For? Be excellent to each other. Party on, dudes. <laughs>